Valley Fever is a primarily mosquito-borne, multi-species zoonotic viral disease. The causative organism, Rift Valley Fever virus, was first isolated in the early 1930s in the Rift Valley in Kenya. It is the cause of severe disease in small stock, resulting in high mortality and abortion storms, particularly in sheep and goats. It was at Lake Naivasha and, and there's some mountains there on the edge of the Rift Valley and they moved the sheep up the mountains and the outbreak stopped and they put some sheep in mosquito nets and they put some outside of mosquito nets and they even caught mosquitoes and they transmitted with them. So they tied the whole thing up that this was a mosquito transmitted disease associated with heavy rains, abortions, lamb deaths and human disease. In the 21st century, there's an increased risk of the introduction of this virus into regions free of the disease, such as Europe and Asia, as a result of the high numbers of competent insect vectors in those regions, and the intensification of international trade in live animals, and the unknown impact of climate change. Rift Valley Fever is a good example of a disease where the principles of the One Health concept are applicable. Proper studies or control strategies of Rift Valley Fever require a more integrated or holistic approach to human, animal and ecosystem health and collaborative efforts of multidisciplinary teams working nationally and internationally. The expected environmental or ecosystem changes in large parts of Africa as a result of climate change may well have a significant bearing on the dynamics or epidemiology of the disease and frequency of outbreaks in animals and humans. An attempt has been made to utilize satellite imaging to predict Rift Valley fever outbreaks through the development of a green vegetation index as a marker of Dambo or broad flay flooding or the effects of the El Nino Southern Oscillation, ENSO phenomenon, as a long-term predictor of heavy rains. Thus far, Observations on rainfall patterns and ENSO phenomenon have been found to fit most past outbreaks of Rift Valley fever, but have not been used successfully to predict outbreaks. For most of the 20th century, outbreaks were confined to countries in Africa. The virus was isolated for the first time outside continental Africa in 1979 in Madagascar, where the virus is now endemic. In 2000-2001, Rift Valley fever virus was introduced across the Red Sea and caused a major outbreak of disease in livestock and humans in Saudi Arabia and Yemen on the Arabian Peninsula. <laughs> During 2008, it was detected on the French island of Mayotte in the archipelago of Comores, located between Mozambique and Madagascar. The disease was first recorded in southern Africa late in 1950, when an estimated 100,000 sheep died and 500,000 ewes aborted in South Africa alone. A second severe epidemic occurred in Southern Africa in 1974 and 1975, during which more severe losses than in the 1950 epidemic were reported. The thing about the 74-6 outbreak is that human deaths were recognized for the first time. And what actually happened was in 75, a, young, a couple of young Australians were hitchhiking in Zimbabwe and they picked up Marburg infection, got sick as soon as they crossed the border and he died here, his girlfriend got sick after him and then a nurse got sick. There was no television at the time but it was in the newspapers and radio and so on about this hemorrhagic disease and it was 
a big frightful thing. And consequently, doctors opened their eyes, went into the wards and saw people bleeding. You know, in other words, patients with bleeding tendencies and bleeding problems. And they sent in specimens to the lab and it was confirmed to be Rift Valley Fever. And that's how it was discovered, by accident. Recurring outbreaks of Rift Valley Fever took place in South Africa between 2008 and 2010. It re-emerged in 2008 following good rains in Mpumalanga province, with subsequent spread to three more provinces. In 2009, limited outbreaks occurred in two provinces, which were followed by a widespread outbreak in 2010. The 2010 outbreaks occurred in five provinces of South Africa and in neighboring Namibia and Botswana. It was characterized by significant livestock losses, more than 220 laboratory confirmed cases in humans with 26 deaths and deaths in a small number of wild antelope species. In 1977 and 1978, a major epidemic occurred in the Nile Delta and along the Nile in Egypt, causing an unprecedented number of more than 200,000 human infections and the death of about 600 of them. This represented the first time the virus was recognized north of the Sahara Desert and was associated with the construction of the Aswan Dam and subsequent flooding of large areas along the Nile River. Numerous deaths and abortions in sheep and cattle and some losses in goats, water buffaloes and camels were also recorded. Other noteworthy African outbreaks in which high mortality in animals and deaths in humans were reported include the outbreaks in Mauritania and Senegal in 1987, Kenya and neighboring countries during 1997-1998, and a particularly large epidemic in Somalia, Kenya and Tanzania in 2006-2007.